So today I want to cover something that I've been actually meaning to cover for a while because I think it's actually kind of a pretty big deal. Some interesting things have happened in micro world. So the main thing that's happened, I think, is the whole toothpick phenomenon with all the toothpicks coming out. Toothpick meaning these little quads that run either whoop boards or really tiny electronics. Like I think this guy is running a 14 by 14 stack in it and it is truly tiny so you know they're kind of like the micros of before but they've gotten even more compact the electronics are even better and they've gotten even lighter so the performance is even crazier the other big thing that i think that makes these things really interesting is this the insta 360 go so the reason I think that this little camera is interesting is because a little guy like this can carry a little guy like this easily, hardly any effort, and suddenly you can get the HD footage out of one of these little guys just like you can with the uh, 5 inch. So previously, getting usable FP video out of a quad was all a 5 inch game because you need to carry a session or you need to carry a here when everything else was pretty crappy. And this thing is no GoPro, that's for sure. We'll get that out of the way. It is no GoPro, but first of all, it's light, the form factor is there, but the second killer thing that this thing does is actually two things. So number one, it has image quality that doesn't suck. And number two, it has stabilization. So the other problem traditionally with these little micro quads is they twitch around a lot. And even if you could put a GoPro on it or an HD cam, it would look all twitchy and crappy and weird. But now that we've got these cameras that do stabilization in the game, that changes everything. So you have image quality that's not on the level of a GoPro, but doable, at least for Facebook and Instagram posts and stuff. Totally doable, especially in good light. And now these things have the performance so actually this thing almost outperforms my five inch in terms of how much of a rocket it is. So the question is, are we at a tipping point where the five inch is now gonna become obsolete and a thing of the past and everything is gonna go micro or not? Personally, I don't think the five inch is going obsolete anytime soon because five inches still fly better and do more stuff like a five inch flies better and it's still more capable and it still gets better video and there's still just more fun to fly than a micro but the difference is super tiny and so to demonstrate what these little micros are capable of i'm gonna fly a spot that i usually only fly with my five inch so i'm gonna take a micro and i'm gonna rip this bando and yeah this crazy looking place and we're gonna see how the rippage from this stacks up. You know, does the footage look good? Is it smooth? All that good stuff.
Basically, when I started flying this quad with an Insta360 on it, I was blown away by just how close the flying experience as well as the video that came out of it was to a 5-inch setup. And not just any 5-inch setup, but like my 5-inch setup that I've been, you know, honing and perfecting over years and years and years. So, I just wanted to do a quick demo here of what a tadpole can do but not just a tadpole but basically any toothpick with a uh, one of these guys on it and the fact that these things are so good nowadays begs a lot of questions because look at the size of it compared to this thing i mean it's not only the quads right but if you look at the lipos for example okay and then you start multiplying uh, things get interesting really quick. So for one of these guys, let's say you pack, you know, six lipos or ten lipos, you're packing a lot of stuff, man, and the props are big and the quad's big. Whereas if you can fly, if you can fly 80 to 90% is good, still get cool video, and all you have to do is carry a bunch of these tiny little packs, which I think are literally like less than half the size of a, okay, these are 5S, so it's not a super fair comparison. This is a 4S pack. These batteries are tiny, they charge super quick, and they give you all the performance you could possibly want out of a little guy like this. It really makes me wonder, right? If I was getting into this hobby for the first time, would I recommend someone go for one of these or one of these? I don't know. These are still better, but these are just so damn good. And the advantages of the fact that not only is the drum compact, but all the gear, right? The batteries, all that kind of stuff like it means that you don't have to carry nearly as much stuff but there's another magic trick with these and that is that they are so friggin quiet you can hardly hear these things in the air they're like the ultimate stealth drone that can just perform like an absolute friggin rocket ship it's pretty crazy and pretty interesting i would say that depending on what your priorities are 
it might be a turning point in FPV. Like if you're in a living, if you're living somewhere that's super tightly regulated and there's a lot of rules and there's nowhere to fly and all that kind of stuff. And especially if you have a 250 gram limit, it could be a pretty compelling case in favor of just going micro because it almost flies as good. You can still get cool video out of it and no regulations, no rules, no nothing. And you're not even attracting any attention which means that you could fly it in places that you couldn't ordinary, ordinarily fly. So you could fly in more spots without, you, at the same time you're carrying less stuff because you have less weight to carry. So it's more convenient. Micros are more convenient. They're cheaper, they're, they still perform good and you're able to get video out of it. And they're nice to fly, fun, good, everything. So I don't, I don't think that the toothpick quads are actually better than a five inch. A five inch is more capable. It can go farther. It can also do proximity. It can still get better video. They're still faster. They're more wind resistant and they're still super tough. But most importantly of all for me, they just still fly better. They feel better in the air and all that good stuff. You could argue that's tuning, but a part of that is also the weight, the momentum. I like the way the momentum feels. It just feels natural and organic. And overall, I still love the way that a five inch feels. But these things are coming so ridiculously close to flying as good as a five inch that it makes you wonder. 